वेलकम टू दिस चैनल केमिस्ट्री मेड इजी बाय डॉक्टर अशोक मोरी वी वेर डिस्कसिंग दिस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इन दिस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर वी वेर डिस्कसिंग पीरियोडिक प्रॉपर्टीज एंड अप टू दिस टाइम वी हैव सीन the first two properties that is ionization ionization energy and electron affinity and today we will discuss here is covalent and ionic radii covalent and ionic radii so first of all we should understand that the atomic and ionic sides of the element determines or we can say govern the various other properties such as ionization energy and electron affinity also and because of this it is very important the atomic and ionic sides depends upon the distance between the nucleus and outermost electron which is present in the atom and which may be present in the ion for ionic radius <coughs> according to uh, this concept we are discussing the various effects that are observed because of such ionic radii we know that the ionic radii are uh, concerned with two types where we are considering cation which gives us ionic radius for that particular cation similarly the ionic radii are also discussed of now uh, using the radius radii of anions so the cationic radii are different ionic radii are different and the covalent radii are different covalent radii are determined or used by considering the non polar nature of bond if the compound contains non polar species then we are considering the covalent radii all these radii are measured in terms of pm radius is measured in pm and is picometers <coughs> so the in the there is some relationship between the nuclear charge increasing nuclear charge and the size of the atom or ion when we consider the atomic sizes we find that the atomic sizes are more in case of these species such as we can consider here the first uh, group in each period that is alkali metals so alkali metals shows much larger size because why because they show presence of electron in the new subshell or new main shell so the new main shell begins with new s subshell or atomic orbital and that is why the distance between the nucleus and the s new subshell is more and that is why the size is radius or uh, covalent radii are more but if we keep the same uh, uh, n value principle quantum number in the any given period and if we consider the increasing nuclear charge we find that the electrons are added in the same energy level which is represented by principal quantum number same that is n value so when n is kept same and the nuclear charge is increased from left to right in the given period the electrons are added in large number in the same main shell of uh, that particular atom but they are going into either the same subshell that is 
atoms, uh, atomic orbitals, uh, and they may be entering into the energy level, some energy level of lower sub uh, so sub uh, n principal quantum number that is like 3D elements. So because of this, the electrons are brought closer to the nucleus because nuclear charge increases and number of electrons are increasing in the same energy level. So electrons are pulled strongly towards the nucleus and that is why the atomic radii are found to be decreasing when we consider the atoms covalent radii in the same period when we are considering the atomic radii or covalent radii in the same period the <coughs> principal quantum number or main shell is same but electrons are added in different sub shells within that region or within that main shell so electrons are brought much closer to the nucleus and as a result of this the covalent radii are increased <coughs> So, this, these radii in the covalent or in the polar uh, compounds, non-polar compounds if we see, the, the covalent radii are not affected by any charge. But if we consider the ionic radii, then they are influenced by the radius, say if we consider the cation, if we consider the cation. So this size of cation is not much more influenced by the size of anion. But contrarily, the size of anion is influenced strongly by the size of and charge on the cation. So these are uh, illustrated in the data that we have shown on this text. So if we go through this text, you will find that the there is either increase or decrease in the size of the covalent radii. For example, if we consider any group, the covalent radii around any group. So if we choose the n is equal to 2 period, second period, then you will have lithium with covalent radius 123. These are considered in equometers. The next element is Be, beryllium with covalent radii 89. The next element is boron with 82. Then carbon, then 77. Nitrogen with size 75. Then oxygen with size 73. Then fluorine with size 71 and then you are with size 69. So while moving in the period, any given period, you will find that this lithium means the first group of the periodic table shows larger size covalent radius. And there is when we increase, if we go from this side, there is Z means nuclear charge increases. Nuclear charge increases in this direction and you will see that with increasing nuclear charge the covalent radii are gradually decreasing. Why this is so? This is because with the nuclear charge increasing the main shell that is principal quantum number are pretty same and therefore electrons are any in the same shape but nuclear charge is increasing and that is why the atomic radii are decreasing because the electrons are pulled much closer to the nucleus with the nuclear increasing nuclear charge so such type of training will be observed in every group uh, every period <coughs> now if we consider any group for example if we take the example of say group 1, if we consider group first, then you will find that the elements <coughs> are like this. The first element is hydrogen with 32, 32 size, uh, 32 covalent radius, 
then lithium here it is 123 then next is sodium with 154 size potassium with 203 <coughs> then rubidium with 216 and again cesium with 235 <coughs> so here as we move down the group as we move down the group here Z increases that is atomic uh, nuclear charge increases so you will find that with increasing nuclear charge the new energy levels are opened here in hydrogen you will find that there is main shell that is n is equal to 1 here in case of lithium you will find that there is n is equal to 2 means energy level is second so in case of here sodium you will find that there is third one main shell in potassium fourth main shell fifth main shell sixth main shell in this way you will find that there is addition of new energy levels and because of this the electron goes away from the nucleus and that is why the uh, covalent radii are found to be increasing so this is the periodic trend you will be observed in every group and in every period in this way now if we consider the <coughs> radii of ions that is ionic radii <coughs> so if we see ionic radii So in this ionic radii, you will find that the data obtained of ionic radii or crystal radii is on the basis of X-ray diffraction data and electron density maps. So this data of ionic radii is based on electron density map and X-ray data. X-ray diffraction data. <coughs> so these values are obtained in this way. <coughs> so following table shows the in general you will find that the cations. If we see the two types of ions, ions are of two types. One is cation, and second is anion. So, cation is obtained by loss of electron, loss of electron and anion is obtained by gain of electron, gain of electron. So, because of this, because of this, the cations are real loss of electron shows that the electrons uh, ionic size of the cation is smaller smaller cations are smaller in size and because of addition of electron or gain of electron the anions are larger in size <coughs> so you will find this main difference with respect to the types of cations and anions so this crystal radii are, are, are shown by Shannon in 1976 Shannon Shannon gave this data of this crystal radii so here you will find that in case of this alkali metal you will find that in case of alkali metal ions that is say lithium plus Li plus the Z value is or you will say Z is equal to here 3 then in case of Z here it is 3 for lithium then uh, for uh, when Z is 11 then it is Na plus for K plus it is third, it is 19 or K plus. For uh, Rb it is 37 Rb plus and for cesium it is 55. C 
cesium plus. So the cationic radii are like this. The cationic radii R plus values are 90 pm for Li plus, 116 for Na plus, 152 for K plus, 166 for Rb plus and 181 for cesium plus. So this, this is the example of the time radii for alkali matrix. So you will find that there is increase in the nuclear charge as we move from this lithium to cesium. So in this train you will find that the uh, Li plus is smallest inside. Li plus is smallest inside. And with increasing nuclear charge, the crystal radii or ionic radii are increasing rapidly. So this is because of the addition of new energy level, even though the <coughs> electron is lost. Again, if we consider the alkaline earth matrix, you will also find the same type of trend. So that is in case of <coughs> this BE. Mg etc. You will find the same thing that is the cationic radii will go on increasing. In case of other elements such as this alkali metals, uh, uh, alkali metals, uh, alkaline, uh, uh, alkaline earth metals we have seen. Then if we see the halides, this is about the cations. Now if we consider the example of halides. So there are the halides like this F minus, Cl minus, Br minus, and I minus. So here you will find that the Z values Z is equal to 9. <coughs> so we consider here Z values are. 9, 17, then it is 35 and probably 53 and in this case you will find the radii of anion R minus. Here in case of fluorine the radii is 119. Then in case of chlorine it is 167. Then 182 in we are minus and 200 6 in I minus. So you will find that such type of covalent radii are observed in any period, any group. So here you will find that with a smaller third value, the R minus is smaller, but it increases with addition of new shades. That is, in second period, second principal quantum number, the value increases. Again, if we <coughs> Check the increase, you will find that there is increase because of the addition of new energy levels. And when there is addition of new energy level, the number of subsales are also increasing. And because of this, the capacity to occupy the electrons increases more and more. And because of this, there is also increase in the size of anions. And there are other anions. <clears throat> where you will find the anions like the O2 minus other anions if we see O2 minus and S2 minus here the Z value is 8 and 16 8 and 16 and the R, R minus minus 2 minus is 126 for oxygen, ion oxide ion, and 170 for S2 minus ion. So, in this way, you will find that <coughs> when the oxidation state is C, but the nuclear charge is different or increasing, the ion radii also increases. <coughs> if we consider various factors what are, that are responsible for this uh, <coughs> radii or size of the ions, we have observed that the coordination number of ions 
the covalent characters of the bonding, the distortion of regular crystal geometry and delocalization of electrons are responsible for the crystal radii. This radii, as we have also stated earlier, that the radius of ion is influenced by cation, but contrarily, the radius of cation is not that much influenced by the anion. Means that the influence is there, but it is very very small. <coughs> then you will see that the anions are generally larger than the cations with smaller, similar number of electrons. <coughs> so if we consider the example of the effect of electrons on the size of ions. So if we consider the ions like O2 minus, F minus, then Na plus and Mg2 plus. Mg2 plus. Then you will find that if we consider the protons, these are protons. Is nuclear charge that is zero. So here it is eight, here it is nine, here it is eleven, here it is ten. If we consider the number of electrons, there are the same electrons in each ion, but the radius is different. In case of O2 minus, radius is 126. In case of F minus, 119. In case of Na plus 116 and in case of Mg2 plus it is 86. So this shows that even though the electrons are same in these ions, even though the number of electrons are same in these cases, but the nuclear charge is increasing. The number of electrons are same but nuclear charge increases and that is why with increasing nuclear charge the electrons are pulled closer and closer and that is why there is gradual decrease in the radius. It may be an ion or cation, but the radii are decreasing gradually. <coughs> then in another trait with the same family, <coughs> if we consider the trait in the same family. <coughs> You will observe that <coughs> if we consider the ions such as O2 minus, then S2 minus, then Se2 minus, and Te2 minus. So the family is C. So these are the ions of same family. family. And the number of protons. So this is. 8 in case of oxygen, then here it is 16, then 34, and in this case 52. The number of electrons are 10, same here, in case of 80, here it is 18, then 36 in Se2 and 54 in Te2 minus. The radii are 126, like this same, 170 here. 184 and 207. So here we are considered same family of anions. So anions are same. But nuclear charge is increasing, means new shells are added with every new member of anion. Electrons are also increasing, and because of this, the size is increasing. Means electrons are increasing, nuclear charge is increasing, and because of this, the radii are also increasing. So this is for 2 minus. Our radius is given for 2 minus ions. Similarly, if we consider the ions, ions of same metal, if we consider the ions of same metal, such as titanium, if we consider Ti2 plus, 
that di di 2 plus di 3 plus and di 4 plus so the ions are same but if we consider the number of protons that we take so the number of protons that we take that number is same 22 because ion is same then electrons are different because the oxidation state is different in case of first Ti the electrons are 20 e, again here 90 and here 80 and the radii are different so we will not show here any <coughs> charge because the charge is different so in case of Ti2 plus the radius is 100 here it is 81 and again here in 75 so <coughs> you will find here the trade with the respective change of oxidation state with increasing oxidation state the valence electrons are lost so the <coughs> electrons are more electrons are also decreasing here nuclear charge is same so with same nuclear charge the different means lowering the number of electrons the size of the cation is decreasing so this is the overall effect of size of means covalent and ionic radii of elements present or shown in the periodic table. So with this, we are we are we are we have completed this topic of atomic structure. And next time we will see the new topic that is molecular orbital theory. So till then, goodbye. See you next time. So please subscribe to this channel and press the like button and bell icon button. Thank you very much for watching this video.